Hello, it is Pope Francis. When this sound was heard, the poor woman, Anna Romano, was shocked. She first thought somebody is playing a joke. So she asked again, who is calling? And he said, it is Pope Francis. She couldn't believe it. This Anna Romano of 35 years of age, an Italian woman, had written a letter to the Pope. She had no luck with men. Finally, she found a man whom she thought would be the man of her dreams, and she became pregnant. When she revealed it to him, he said that he was already married. And he wanted her to abort the child. But Anna said no. But this poor woman was devastated. If I bring forth this child, will the society accept me? Will my pastor baptize my child? So she wrote a letter in anguish to the Pope. And the Pope called her. And she asked the Pope, what shall I do if my pastor does not baptize my child? And Pope said, I will baptize. If you do not find a priest to baptize your child, the Pope says, I will baptize. My dear friends, the Bible tells us from its very beginning to the end the story of God trying to unite himself with us. So he has been sending prophets and leaders to turn to him. Finally, he sent Jesus. And in today's gospel, we see Jesus spending the night at Mount Olives praying with the Father, trying to get united with the Father. And in the morning, again, he is at the temple, at the house of the Lord. There he gathers his people around him. At this moment, the leaders of the Jewish religion, the scribes and the Pharisees, come with a woman whom they said was caught in the very act of adultery. And him, her, they placed in front of Jesus, who said, I am the good shepherd. Come to seek the sheep that is lost. This is the Jesus who carried the cross 
in the form of cross carried yours and my sins hanging on the cross between heaven and earth try to unite heaven and earth as he was shedding his blood for the purification for the salvation of us he prayed to the father father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and hanging on the same cross he promised to the repentant person hanging just like him on the cross you shall be with me in the paradise and in front of that jesus they brought this woman caught in adultery and they wanted him to pass a judgment and jesus did not come to condemn but he came to save us my dear brothers and sisters we should realize when we point a finger at one of our brothers or sisters you look at my hand what happens one finger is looking pointing at the opposite another finger is looking up to heaven and three fingers are pointing to me so when you point at your sister or brother accusing her or him there are three fingers pointing to you before you point out to the dust in the eye of your brother or sister look at the log in your eyes at the same time when you point a finger at your sister or brother you are also accusing god the finger shows up because your brother or sister is in the likeness and image of god she is also saved by the blood of christ the whole world is sanctified saved by the blood of christ and when you are pointing a finger at your sister you are questioning the very salvation brought by jesus christ and that is why jesus said he took time he was trying to write on the floor he was trying to buy time from these serp children of vipers who were so eager to accuse the woman caught in adultery the bible clearly says their aim was not only to accuse that lady but also try to find a reason to accuse jesus my dear friends when we accuse our brother or sister we are accusing god himself saying that the image in your brother or sister is not real is false that is why jesus asked her woman where are they they went away and he said i also do not judge you sin no more my dear friends in today's society and in human history there are so many ways 
for a person to experience the mercy of the Lord. Maybe in our effort to maintain a clear conscience, maybe by reading the word of God, but much more when a person has a chance, has an experience of mercy shown to him or her by her brother or sister. When Pope Francis took the phone and called Anna Romano, saying, if the pastor does not baptize your child, I will baptize. And that message went to the whole world like a wild fire. Now we have in the Catholic Church mercy incarnate in the form of Francis. And that is what, my dear brothers and sisters, God is expecting from you and me today to be an instrument of God's mercy. To be an instrument of God's kindness. Every moment we have is the moment when Jesus bent down and was writing on the floor, giving the Pharisees and scribes time to reflect about them and much more to the woman caught in adultery to experience God's kindness. And he wanted her to see how in the, in the person of Jesus, mercy incarnate in action can be used the rest of our life to be instruments of God's mercy.